Got your stick. Oh! oh. Heat him up! Greetings, good brothers and good sisters. The kids from the generations before me wanted to be cowboys. I wanted to be a cowboy too, but instead of a horse, I wanted a hearse. Instead of a colt, I wanted an unlicensed nuclear accelerator. When everyone else was running out of a building screaming from some paranormal entity, demonic possession, spook, specter, or ghost, I wanted to be the guy strolling in thinking, another day at the office. I wanted to be a ghost buster. I used to dress up as one as a kid with my best friend. We didn't have coveralls, so we just wore irregular clothes. And we didn't have proton packs, so we used vacuum cleaners. And although we weren't even 10 years old, we weren't afraid of no ghost. The proton pack and wand was every kid's dream in 84, but it was just too fantastical, too ridiculous, too impossible. You could watch the Ghostbusters, but you could never be a Ghostbuster. Not without a lot of imagination, at least. Pretend is great, but you know what's also great? The real thing. The movie Proton Pack is the coolest movie weapon ever. Cooler than Robocop's Auto 9, Dirty Harry's Magnum, the Colonial Marine Pulse Rifle, even with Ripley's upgrade with the flamethrower taped onto it. Cooler than Indy's Whip, Blade's Sword, any of the swords in Lord of the Rings, Chuck Norris's Dual Uzis, Tron's Identity Disc, Rick Deckard's PKD, Blaine's Old Painless, Mad Max's Sawed Off Shotgun, the Equalizer's Nail Gun. I love this movie so much. See it if you haven't already. And yeah, even a lightsaber. After all, does a lightsaber work on ghosts? Two years after the original Ghostbusters movie, Kenner released the first wearable proton pack toy. And it was something. Yep, that's definitely a plastic toy there. But it was a hard pass for me. I wanted the movie one. I did end up owning four proton packs in 86, but they were for these guys, the real Ghostbusters. My originals from childhood. Thanks, Mom and Dad. They're some of the most cherished figures in my entire collection, and when I was giving things away left, right, and center in the 90s because I was, temporarily, too old for toys, I just couldn't bring myself to give these away. As years went by, I was in awe of the incredible customs that fans would create. Movie accurate replicas with lights and sounds. But as much as I love the idea, I knew that kind of project was not in my budget, both monetary as well as time. So I was happy for everyone who got to live their dream of being a Ghostbuster, and I kept busy living out other dreams. In 2020, in conjunction with Ghostbusters Afterlife, or at least its originally intended release date, I found Spengler's Neutrona wand at Toys R Us in Canada. Yes, they're still here. It was just like the old days. I had no idea it was coming out. It was just there on a shelf. And man, was it expensive. But I figured if they're doing a wand, they must be doing a proton pack too. So home it came and sat on its display stand for a while and sucked. I was happy to have the wand, but where was the pack? The wand had cool lights and sounds, but it was nothing without the pack. So in a box it went and waited almost three years. In 2022, Hasbro announced the Proton Pack as a HasLab exclusive. And it wasn't cheap either. But with all the features announced, the incredible level of detail, and the ability to integrate with the wand, I thought it was a golden opportunity to finally have a pack like those customizers had. And at a fraction of the price, and a sliver of the time. It's unfortunate that the wand wasn't included with the pack, that you had to buy it separate. It should have been all together instead of selling the wand separately two years prior. But that's what they did, so whatever. Moving on. Despite needing to already have the wand, despite the price, and despite the weight, this is the most fun toy I've ever owned. I mean something that invigorates the imagination, that rips the time portal open and gives you a glimpse into the past. And you just want to shout through that portal, good things come to those who wait. Yeah, I've got the USS flag. It's an amazing environment. I've got Fortress Maximus, and a lot of incredible figures that are spectacular works of art. Things to be appreciated, tinkered and futzed with. Lots of fun in their own right. But the Proton Pack is my favorite toy ever. I know it's easy to walk out of a movie being super pumped and saying, that's the greatest movie I've ever seen. You gotta wait a while, let the adrenaline calm down. 
Let the dust settle and see how you really feel a few weeks later. So I did that. Let the initial euphoria wear off, and now I can honestly say, yeah. As a lifelong Ghostbusters fan, this is the most fun I've had in a long, long time. I honestly didn't even know the dream was still in there, but this thing woke it up. I finally got to be a Ghostbuster. It's a highly detailed movie prop replica, but it's also a super fun toy that reminds me of what it was like to blast ghosts with my pal. Fun! There's a serious shortage of that in the world at the moment, so it's doubly appreciated how much fun it is to play around with this thing. If you had anything to do with the creation of this Proton Pack, my hat is off to you. Nerd must stay, and thank you. This is my grail. Here's why. It comes packaged in a giant box made up to look like an old chest, featuring the Ghostbusters No Ghost logo, of course, and some graphics of the handles and latches on the sides. And fingerprint verification is needed in order to gain access. They had some fun with the interior packaging as well. This part is made up to look like the floorboards in Afterlife that hold Egon's secret stash. And the documentation and stickers come in these paper sleeves. God, I miss the plastic bags. You get some instructions that show you how to attach the wand to the proton pack, as well as some of its other many, many features. And even though the pack looks fantastic right out of the box, they've included some stickers if you wanted to do it up a bit more. Various danger and warning labels, Egon Spengler's journal, all sorts of notes about paranormal investigation, and some pictures from the movies. I think that'll have to be a Patreon exclusive going through that. And some cool looking retro stickers, both from Afterlife and the original Ghostbusters movies. And a little ghost trap packaging box containing miniature Stay Puff Marshmallow Men, as seen in Afterlife. Clean versions of these had been released previously under the Afterlife toy line, but the HasLab comes with these exclusive burned versions. And they also come with three swappable heads with different expressions. And here they are alongside Big Papa Stay Puffed the giant Spirit of Halloween hanging decoration. And one of the stretch goals, I believe, one of the extras that you can tack onto the Proton Pack, Marshmallow Goo. You can attach these to various parts of the Proton Pack to make it look like the end of the first Ghostbusters movie when they were covered in the remnants of Gozer. And this is really cool. Awesome that they included this. Brackets if you wanted to put the pack on an Alice frame. And another stretch goal, and this is a really important one, a stand to hold the proton pack securely. It's made of plastic, although it's got a really nice metallic sheen to it. It's not all that sturdy if you push these in this way, but it does a fine job of holding the pack. And it also has some details too, the insignia, as well as some welding and metal-like detailing. And here's what it's like to put the pack on the stand. One thing I wish they would have tweaked a little bit was to give a little more clearance for the hose here. You don't want too much weight being applied onto this connection point right here. And it's got a couple of different grooves in it depending on what angle you want the pack sitting or to give more clearance in case you want to add an Alice frame to it. And talk about old school, this thing takes four giant D batteries. And listen to this. It doesn't just have sounds, it has oomph. When you turn it on, this side blue light turns on and you also get the four rotating cyclotron lights. The pack has two different settings, original Ghostbusters movie or Afterlife. Right now I've got it on the original setting, where the cyclotron lights spin more slowly. On the Afterlife setting, they go around a lot quicker. Or as Uncle George would say, faster, more intense. So look at some of the decals on it, worn looking danger sticker, some technical jargon, awesome looking wiring, and a really beautiful choice of paint. Nice metallic sheen to it with perfectly placed scuff marks. This dial right here is a volume control. And this was one of the deal breakers for me. It initially looked like the pack wasn't going to power the wand. It was just going to be connected by an empty hose. The power pack needs to power the wand. So what they've done is you can remove the original piece that holds the batteries for the wand and insert this rod which connects to the proton pack. You connect the other end to the proton pack, screws in securely, and as a huge bonus, the wand can wake the pack up. The wand itself has a number of different switches on it, which activates different lights and sounds on it. And pulling this green thing right here extends the barrel. 
And the button on the side here lights the barrel up and gives you a proton stream sound effect. It looks good in a well-lit area, but it is spectacular in the dark. And here's another huge bonus they've included. The new attack modes from the Ghostbusters video game. The slime blower. The stasis string for immobilizing or freezing the ghosts. And the meson collider, in case you forgot the trap back at the firehouse. These will blast in ghosts to smithereens. Hey, all you junior Ghostbusters! Hang in there because there's plenty more action to come! And more slime and too! That's me! Who you gonna call? Yeah, let's go! We now return to the real Ghostbusters! And another huge bonus that no custom before the HasLab Proton Pack can claim to have. The Afterlife movie showed us our first official look inside the Cyclotron. I'm not a tech guy, I don't know what any of this stuff is or is supposed to do, but the guts of a proton pack look awesome. But it's not all for show, there's actually two switches in here. One toggles whether the entire proton pack vibrates. And the other one toggles between 1984 movie lights and sounds and afterlife lights and sounds. And I really appreciate how easy it is to take apart and put back together again. And this is part of the fun of the pack, getting to take it apart and tinker around with it a bit. And here's the afterlife lights and sounds. Yep, faster and more intense. A little too fast for my tastes. Not a feature I see myself using very often, but still glad it's included. Maybe the next owner of this pack after I'm gone will appreciate it more than I do. And the vibration is another feature I don't see myself using very often. Cool that it's included, maybe the next owner will appreciate it, but I find it incredibly annoying. And here's what the marshmallow goo looks like when you tack it on. These also came in a translucent green slime look for the early bird pulse premium perk, which I think looks a lot better. In addition to lights, sounds, and marshmallow goo, the pack has a number of different other features. A storage compartment on the side for snacks. And most of the wires can be unplugged. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't turn the lights or sounds off, but it makes you feel like you're working on an unlicensed nuclear accelerator. And this part comes off too, and it's got a real metal rod in it. I don't know what any of this stuff is, I just know the sound it makes when it busts ghosts. And another bonus for the customizers, an inactive switch. You can do your own wiring and assign it to whatever new feature you want to add to the Proton Pack. So out of the box, the HasLab Proton Pack is an awesome toy. But it's not my favorite toy ever. Not yet. That didn't happen until I added the Alice Frame. I went with a Rothko item model number 2255, which I found on Amazon. And the nice thing about this one is that it comes with straps. So you can remove the straps that are already on the Proton Pack. And have some nice mint condition straps in storage if you ever decide to sell it. The Alice frame is incredibly easy to install. Just line up the holes. Pop these spacers near the bottom. Make sure they're centered before you tighten them both down. And you get a bunch of brackets, which are all different depths. And a bunch of screws. It's really easy to figure out which brackets go where. Just pop them in and see which ones fit right.
And now it's the ultimate proton pack and my grail. Just this little bit of metal is what was missing. I got one comparison to do for you. It's the Spirit of Halloween Proton Pack, which was much cheaper. And even though the HasLab Proton Pack is obviously superior, I can't trash the Spirit of Halloween Proton Pack. The HasLab Proton Pack succeeds in what it sets out to do. It's an awesome replica and a fun toy. The Spirit of Halloween Proton Pack exceeds what it's supposed to do. Look how light this thing is. This is meant to be worn to a costume party, and the fact that it's so light, I can actually hold it with one pinky is very much appreciated if you're going to be wearing it for several hours. It's got lights and sounds, not movie accurate, but still cool that the cyclotron lights up and get the blue light on the side, and the wand lights up too. It's too bad that the pack itself doesn't have a switch. The only way to wake it up is to push a button on the wand. But still, if you couldn't get the HasLab Proton Pack, this is a great alternative. Look at them from the side. The Spirit of Halloween one is very thin, like a crepe. And the HasLab wand is much bigger. But there's still a surprising level of detail in the Spirit of Halloween pack. Way more than I was expecting for the price. And a look at the wand side by side. The Spirit of Halloween pack is pretty basic, but still in the setting of a Halloween party, it's pretty impressive. You also get the peace of mind of knowing that you're walking around a party with something on your back that isn't all that expensive and won't be all that sad if you get bumped and it gets damaged. But as impressive as it may be, it's a rhinestone compared to the crown jewel that is the HasLab Proton Pack. It's amazing to look at, but more importantly, it's so much fun to actually play around with. Luckily, there's been a report of a paranormal disturbance down by the bridge. A class 5 full roaming vapor was spotted, so I'm going to rustle up one of the greenhorns and check it out. Because this pack isn't just for display. With the heavy duty Alice frame installed, it's for busting ghosts too. And in the immortal words of the American poet, Ray Parker Jr. Busting makes me feel good. so quiet. We'll have a look around. Over. Is this your first ghost hunt? Are you wearing moisture capturing apparel? That's all right. Ray keeps his spare pair of underwear in the glove compartment just for such an occasion. Aggressive paranormal entity like this one, follow these steps. Step one, grab your stick. Step two, heat it up. Step three, let's show this prehistoric putz how we do things down by the bay.
That made me feel good. How's your underwear? That's all right. We got a spare in the glove compartment. This one's a biggie, guys. An old toy factory in Brooklyn. Yeah, HQ. This is Zebra Three. We're on our way.